Hey, it's CSG and me 2011 or Dana. Um, I hope you can see me. I can't. I love my Android, but I wish that it was like an iPhone where you could see yourself while you're doing this so you know if you're in the shot. Anyway, um, I just wanted to pop on this morning. Um, uh, this is week 30. Wow, week 30. Um, Let's see, today is the next week um, will be my seven month uh, anniversary of my surgery. And I'm really hoping that I will hit my 75 pound loss mark by then. Um, it would be a nice little present to myself. Um, I guess let's just go ahead with the numbers. Um, last week I weighed uh, 226.8. And this morning, I weighed 226. So officially, I lost 0.8 pounds um, this week. Uh, but since yesterday, I've lost 3 pounds <laughs> because of my horrible um, eating this weekend. So, uh, yeah, there was a cookie cake involved. It was bad news. Anyway, uh, yesterday was also day one of the five-day pouch test. Um, not really using it as an indication on how much my stomach will hold um, or trying to shrink my stomach. I think the size that it is is fine. Um, I'm not I'm happy with that. I just, I needed um, a carb detox. And um, the, this was a good way to do it. Um, when I say a carb detox, let me be really clear about what I mean by that. I do not mean carbs that come from milk, carbs that come from vegetables, or carbs that come from fruits. I'm talking about um, refined carbs, um, sugars, and grains um, at this point in my journey. Um, I'm sure at some point I will add oatmeal and things like that um, back into my diet, but for now, um, oatmeal just doesn't have enough protein in it. I'm not against oatmeal. I think it's fine, um, but I also grew up eating oatmeal every single day, pretty much. And uh, it is not my favorite breakfast grain. <laughs> so um, anyway, not, not knocking, I am not knocking um, oatmeal or um, any other quinoa or anything like that. I just, for me, for my weight loss, sugar and grains, they slow it way down. I don't know why. Um, Part of why, well, part of why I think that um, wheat does that is because I actually believe that I have a slight allergy to wheat. Um, actually, not to wheat, to gluten. Um, so I pretty much don't um, don't eat it. Um, well, Sunday is a perfect example of why I shouldn't. Um, obviously, it wasn't actually fat that jumped back on my body over the weekend. It was um, water weight. Uh, why did the water weight happen? Probably because I ate quite a bit of wheat this weekend. Um, usually that will send me into um, diarrhea. Sorry, if you don't want to talk about poo, you shouldn't be watching my channel anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, that's how my body tries to get rid of gluten, uh, is that way. Uh, it's very unpleasant. Um, I discovered that I had a sensitivity to gluten when I went to a, a gastroenterologist because I had had diarrhea 30 days straight. Um, it was awful. He did a colonoscopy, said I was fine. And I was like, I can't be fine. I'm having diarrhea every single day. I mean, I'm, I had gotten to the point where I was hardly eating anything because I felt so awful. Um, and I knew food equaled poo. So. Why would I want to do that to myself? And uh, he uh, basically said that um, something traumatic had happened to me in my childhood, and in some people that causes um, extra nerve endings to attach to their intestines, which just makes them super sensitive to um, food passing through their intestines. And so I was on medication for a long time. Um, to help relax everything down there and not be so hypersensitive. And um, 
you know, the last time I went to see him, I said, there's got to be something else. And he said, well, you know, you know what foods trigger it, so just don't eat those. So, basically, it was a food allergy <laughs> that he didn't want to diagnose as a food allergy. So, anyway, um, popcorn, I do eat popcorn every once in a while. I do eat wheat every once in a while, gluten. Um, I just don't do it that often. I try not to do it that often. Popcorn is really a pretty rare thing, but um, the wheat is really a difficult thing to um, let go of because it's in everything. But um, but I do try. Um, and eating um, a low-carb, high-protein diet um, is really conducive for, to that. And I, I have to say that that, that part um, of my life is a whole lot better since surgery. So, Okay, didn't realize I was going to talk about poop quite that long. Uh, anyway, um, I'm doing really well. Uh, my hair loss is slowing down. I don't know if I've even mentioned that. For about a month, it has slowed down. And I don't think y'all could really see because my hair needs to be washed, so it's a little oily. But um, it's um, I've got all these brand new growths. Whenever I go to straighten my hair, they all stick up like, you know, one of those cranes you've seen at the uh, zoo, you know, that has the big foofy thing sticking out the back of its head. <sighs> yeah, it's really irritating. <laughs> I can't wait till they get longer. And then all right in here, I've got lots of little bitty hairs right, right in here. So, which is good because I thought I was, you know, doing a little balding thing right there. Anyway, um, so that's going good. Um, the hair loss is significantly less significantly. Um, so I'm taking my vitamins. Um, I wrote down a few things to say and they're on my phone, which is right there. <laughs> uh, I do go work out tonight. I went for a two mile hike last Friday. Um, so I worked out twice last week. Um, and then I spent all day um, Saturday at the zoo, uh, walk in, walk in, walk in at the zoo. So uh, with my family, and then um, so I go run tonight with my girlfriend, and I will sit down later today and figure out when I can go to the track um, to, for the rest of the week. So um, I did play volleyball last night, like I said, and I um, we lost. So I do have a volleyball practice this week though, so that's that's some good exercise too. Um, I guess that's about it. I'm um, about to start my second day of liquids. I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet um, today. But my, my protein drink is all re ready made. And, um, and I'm about to make um, homemade soup and blend it um, with some chicken and onion and that kind of stuff in it. But it'll be blended, so liquids. Uh, but I needed some way to get in protein other than protein drinks because that will definitely lead to major constipation. And I'm just not willing to deal with that. So. Uh, tomorrow is soft foods, so tuna and scrambled eggs and stuff like that. Um, and then I have no idea what comes after that. <laughs> I think it's uh, it, it gets more, to be more dense protein, but I, for the life of me, cannot remember. So I'll just have to look at it. But I hope everybody's doing great. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I I'm a little um, YouTube illiterate, and I'm not sure how to keep up with all of my new people. So if y'all have know of a trick or something where you can see all the new people, um, I just know that the number is getting larger on my subscribers. <laughs> so um, yeah, give me a, a little heads up and let me know how you do that. So all right, um, before this is too long for it to upload from my phone, I better go. Um, I hope everybody has a fantastic week, and let's all just keep moving forward. Bye. I'll talk to you all tonight. Bye.